Scorpio. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking time out of your life. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs to join me here for another Scorpio Love Tarot reading with me, Chris. Hello. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending upon where you are in the world, what time of day it is. Before we begin your reading, I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's reading and consider subscribing to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps so much more than you know to continue growing here at the Tarot Closet. So thanks a lot, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Let's get into your reading. All the, the cards that come in will be linked in the description. You can also find the playlist down there, all zodiac signs, message from your person, message from your spirit guides, no contact, and or in separation, pick a cards, very long in-depth twin flame readings. If you're on a twin flame journey, maybe you're not really sure, you're just curious in any case. And the tarotcloset.com is also down there where I do offer private readings. Please remember that all readings are timeless and that means they're meant for you when they find you. And it can be that a reading feels like a private reading. It can also be that there's really particular messages within it. Maybe even one that you needed to hear that day. For example, today maybe. Remember, it's a general reading, so take what is for you and let the rest go. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed. Okay, Scorpio, whoa. So as I said that, this just went flying. Scorpio, I know you're like, it's the tower card. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, don't go anywhere. This is expect the unexpected energy, guys. This is about being honest and getting to the root of the issues here. So what might be um, going on in this connection that needs to be looked at? It, this can also be within yourself of maybe why you're, you're feeling like you can't let somebody go or what happened. Or, you know, look at this. I just want to show you what just showed itself. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Jeez, what's going on in this connection, Scorpio? It's Saturn and Libra energy. And Saturn, you know, just comes along and it's like, do, do, do. I'm just going to jack everything up here. Slow it down. I'm going to cause some misery. I'm going to cause some heartbreak. So what are the, the root of the issues here? Is it within yourself so that you can move on? Is it within this connection? Is this person wanting to? Are you wanting to leave? Let's see, you guys. Don't go anywhere because this is about being honest, honest with yourself, getting to the root of the issues. It can be about this person being honest with you. It is literally expect the unexpected. And by the way, um, yeah, third parties, possibly your person. Can it be another person? Can it be family of origin, distance? Yeah, long distance energy is kind of strong here. Won't be for everybody. But I wanted to say too, I'm getting this energy of maybe there is something coming or was in the way of, for example, like an addition to a family that kind of just changed everything. I mean, it's it's an upheaval type of energy, okay? It's the very first card coming through. So can this be, oh, look at that. Gosh, you guys, um, all major arcanas here. Whoa, can this be a particular moment that happened for some of you, this tower moment, you know? And the thing is, is the lightning is, and it, this is almost like too, it's getting to the root of the issues is looking in and saying, what happened? You know, what, how can we fix this? If that is what you're wanting to do, or what, what can I do to change things for myself? Whatever it's going to be guys, but it's kind of like looking in like a memory, you know, and uh, interestingly too, maybe something that was seen that, that messed things up. In any case, the thunder causes fire. Fire is a destroyer, but it's also a life giver. It's a chance for new beginnings, whether it's going to be in this connection or you. Because I want to tell you, um, look at this. It's slow. And also, where do I even begin? You know, this is where your person's energy is the strongest. It's the world card. Soulmate energy, yeah, it's in the upright. It's a divine, it's divine timing, but it's still Saturn energy and it's slowing stuff down, creating some obstacles, sort of up in the air. Looks, this person is kind of like playing <laughs> with the world here. 
And this is also bringing in Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And what do they have in common? You, Scorpio, you're here. You don't really love change. You're a creature of habit. You're a fixed sign. Interesting. So it can be that you're dealing with a, another Scorpio, a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. It's not going to be the case. There's a lot going on. We have Pisces energy, Gemini and Cancer coming through. More Leo energy. It's the sun. It's in reverse. This is telling us everything here is slowed down and it's been really depressing. We also have the Tower card. Scorpio, you're also there, interestingly enough. It's Mary's energy too. And... Well, yeah, expect the unexpected here. It's slow. So what is it going to be? Is somebody going to pop up? Because this is a lot of things. It's a divine. It's divine timing. It's growth. It's communication. And Saturn does put all this stuff in our path and slows, slows things down. But eventually things are going to let, let, let up. Now, this can be travel in the way of movement, physical, you know, planes, trains, automobiles, particularly airplanes. <laughs> Interesting connecting us to the divine here as well. But that's also the journey of love. And this is where your person's energy is the strongest. And they're here together. You know, this is the thing, you guys, look at this. The moon is the subconscious. We know that to be the moon, okay? It's Pisces energy. Gemini and Cancer also come through. And the moon, of course, it's the moon card. And this is where, well, yeah, this is where you're trusting yourself, you're trusting your intuition. There's stuff that's not being seen. It's the subconscious. And the moon needs to highlight the subconscious. This is the conscious here, okay? It's the knowing. It's the crown chakra. It's the light from the dark. It's, it's, high, it's going like this, beaming here, and creating this full moon energy so that things can be seen. And it's here in the partnership placement, which is telling me, and it's obviously, you know, the moon card, it's Pisces energy, that somebody is afraid, you know? And it might be both. I'm afraid of reconnecting, afraid to detach. What is it? But it's slow moving. And there obviously has been something that went on in this connection that needs to be getting to the root of the issues. Whether this is being honest with yourself about what you see here and trusting yourself and your intuition to say, yeah, I'm moving on or possibly to reconnect. There's the, there's the eye looking also. You're both here. This emotional energy and it's kind of blocking it here. It's interesting. It's usually here. It's starting to move again. Look, it's the stars. And that's the world card energy for me. That is here. And that's the hope. That's bringing in the star card, the renewal, the clarity coming, having faith. I feel like this is moving again. And it's something you might be working out with this soulmate energy. It can also be that it's moving for you and you're moving on. Let's see. But the sun card in reverse, you know, this is delayed. So it's nothing happening yet. It, but it's also temporary. This is going to upright. It's just, um, it's how it works. <laughs> it's not going to stay here in reverse. Nothing here will stay in the reverse. Time will heal. Time will change things. This is really clear that something went on in this connection, but it's also saying, okay, you need to be honest. And this person, you need to be honest and get to the root of the issues, whether it's why you're hanging on, what you want to change for yourself or why things aren't moving. Um, and what, you know, what needs to be done in order to repair things here. Because, yeah, this is temporary, the sun energy, guys, of, it's temporary, but it's depressing. It's really clearly depressing. I mean, it's not a fun place to be. And if somebody is not seeing, you know, and the sun is in reverse, so it does tell me that the highlighting of the subconscious and showing everything isn't reaching everybody, Obviously, there's somebody who's afraid here, and it might be you afraid to make changes. It can also be this person and something that you're having a hard time letting go of because Scorpio, <laughs> you can hold on to stuff like probably nobody else you got those pinchers. You know, you also, you're very loyal and very um, emotional when it comes to those that you love and also hurts, you know, and sometimes even perceived hurts. So getting to the root of this issue of maybe there's some miscommunication here, or maybe there's something you're not clear about that you want to get clear about. Maybe you want to close the door. Maybe you want to move on. Maybe you want to jump into the world card, into this divine energy here and growth and move on for yourself. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's reconnecting. This is where their energy is the strongest. But there's obviously some work that needs to be done here. Let's move the energy a little. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
That's interesting. That's also yours. Oh, wow, you guys. Oh, okay. Whoa. All right. Interesting. 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 <laughs> I'm going to talk about it in a moment here. Just kind of want to move things around so that I can put your um, deck here. Just a second, you guys. Yeah, so the Five of Wands, as I'm doing that, I just want to tell you, that is more Saturn and Leo energy. Look, these were the obstacles in the upright, Leo energy, the challenges, the things in the way. There's the sun, look, connecting with the sunflower, the knowing here, not knowing, um, not restarting, things from the past, other things in this person's life. It's a five. It's conflicting energy, your life, whatever, challenges that you've had. It's very clear, but look what is here beneath the unexpected card, the tower card. It's in reverse, you guys. This is restoring harmony. This is solving the problems. This is the crown chakra and the sun that's in reverse because that is what the crown chakra does. It is, no, I know, it's the knowing. And to get there, you have to think about stuff. You have to solve the problem in order to even get there and highlight those sunbe sunbeams look at this and get to the root of the issue. So this is getting solved regardless, whether it's you getting the information you need or this connection. It is quite literally uh, expect the unexpected. And again, look at this. This is getting the problem solved in this minor arcana, you know, so it can be that it's been on and off. It's been difficult, you know, it's because they can be Spinners, I was just about to say, as it flipped over. And the hangman energy is literally taking that knowing, taking the source, God, goddess, universe, the crown chakra, and getting to the root of the issues, which is here. That is what's happening in the hangman energy. This is very clearly a period of uncertainty. It's a lot of indecision. There's some fear. There's some inaction. It is... And only time will tell energy. And there's also some power struggles here. Okay. And I'm not surprised by that because you, there's something you're not letting go, understandably, that you want to get to the root of the issues. And that's what's happening in this connection. So this can be you taking your time and also this person. But if this is someone you want to close, you want come resolution with, it's still for you getting the resolution, you know, coming here into the five of wands in reverse and solving this issue for yourself, restoring harmony, whether it's within just yourself or within this person, or it's within the connection, because these are major arcanas here. This is just being sad about it, not moving. This is, you know, the source, the crown chakra, it's in the reverse, but that's also because it's getting, it's, it's here. Look, it's, working here on the hangman energy. It's getting to the root of the issues. This is not a bad place to be because look what else is here. You know, it's the hangman is coming to a three guys. It's Pisces energy, by the way, and Neptune energy. And it's coming to a three, which is the divine, which is also here, divine timing. And look, it's the two of wands. It's the world card within the two of wands here. My gosh. And it's in the upright. Guys, the two of wands, this is Aries energy. This is also Mars energy, which is the current energy around the, the connection, but also this person. And this is kind of, well, yeah, it's moving forward. Again, it can be physically by way of plane, train, automobile. For those of you on a twin flame journey, it's here. It's something different, but it's here. You'll know um, what this what message is and what, what it's going to mean to you in particular in the reading. Um, look, connected here, the wands, the energy of love, the idea of love with the earth. It's like a big decision here, bringing in the world card again for me, more soulmate energy, more of the divine timing, a decision to move forward and get this queen of cups uprighted so that she can do her job because she, this is cancer and energy and she is the most nurturing, healing, supportive, supportive energy here in the deck and she's in reverse it doesn't mean she's not here but if she's in reverse it means that it's difficult moving forward here that somebody might be a little bit overwhelming but it can also be that somebody is partaking in particular i want to say things to um check out you know what i'm saying here she she's not leaving see that's the thing about the queen of cups and it can be representing people in your life it can also be representing 
what you need to do for yourself. So if you're wanting to upright this and get some clarity and move on and, and, and look for a soulmate, it's here. I'm just going to tell you. If you're wanting to reconnect with this person, it's here. But um, everybody has free will. So, you know, everybody's got to get moving. It's delayed now. We see it. There's fear here. But this, either way, this is, this is a getting solved issue for me, guys. And uprighting this Queen of Cups is not going to be as hard as you think. It's a minor arcana here. And she's surrounded by the hangman, the sun, and the world. I mean, that's some really helpful energy. The hangman is in here getting to the root of the issues. That's you. That's also this person. Whatever that's going to mean, whatever this decision is going to mean, it can be you're waiting to hear from them. Maybe they're waiting to hear from you, or maybe there's something in their life in order for them to be able to move forward. And again, whether this is completion in the way of closing the book, putting a pin in it for later, or coming back together. The Queen of Cups is here, and she's not going anywhere, and she has a lot of help. <laughs> so I love that. And in particular, because this... This lack of clarity here in the moon card, in the upright, this not being sure how somebody feels about you, maybe some actual lying going on, is also coming to an end because we see here in the five of discs in reverse that this is some hope coming back, you guys. And for some of you, this can mean um, a new location, a new job, new love even, okay? That won't be for everybody, but the, the energy is moving again. And pentacle energy is small, you know? Um, or excuse me, pentacle energy is small. <laughs> pentacle energy is slow. It's the slowest moving energy, but it's right here in reverse with the fastest moving energy. The five of wands in reverse, which is solving solving these issues, whether you're wanting to solve them together or apart because you're both here. And it's going to have to be together, of course, because you got to both be on the same page. Or maybe you're wanting to solve them for yourself. And you've come out of, can't even be some of you came out of a dark night of the soul that won't be for everybody. Or a depression. And we see that in the sun card in reverse. That the lack of movement and growth in this connection and what happened and not sorting out some issues that you have with each other or within yourself is depressing. You know, it's slowing things down. But you are coming out of that. I love that for you. And the sun will be reversed. The moon is here and the world card. It will go back into the upright. That is just a matter of fact. You know, it's a matter of timing. Uh, when that new cycle is and that happy outcome, that successful outcome that you want, but things are being worked out now. Expect the unexpected. So that's both within yourself being honest, this person possibly coming with some honesty here and literally it can be physically moving, but it can also simply be talking about just the energy moving again. You guys, okay, Scorpio, I'm going to get some overall energy. Then we're going to get some Oracle cards. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Can we have the overall energy for Scorpio? I do not look. Oh, Scorpio, look, it's the Page of Cups. And yeah, so interesting. This is no contact and or in separation. This is telling us that this person may have been immature. There is a breakup energy here. I'm not going to put it down because it actually might be theirs. And I looked down. I don't generally do that and I'm spinning it around now. But I did see the Ace of Cups. And of course, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And it was in the upright. So that can be new beginnings. It can be new love for you. Reconnecting with this person. And again, there might even be somebody who has some kind of really big change around you. Whether that is... Um, in your life, babies, it's not going to be for everyone. New houses, jobs, animals, grandchildren, for some of you, whatever it is, there's some major changes going on here that's also causing you to look at things for yourself and what you're wanting. Changes for you too. Uh, yeah, I really like this for you. Okay, interesting. It's the Five of Swords in reverse. So this is uh, making peace. Yeah. And it's the Page of Cups. So it's after this connection, guys, making peace. This is kind of representing a breakup, I want to say, in somebody who was immature. Interesting. I think that this might be your person's energy. I'm going to get another for you because you're not letting it go. And whether you want to make peace and be honest and get to the root of the issues for yourself and move on, 
or if you're wanting to with this person. Everyone has free will and everybody needs to meet in the middle and know that you're deserving of that. What's for you will not pass you by and we're all deserving of somebody mentally, emotionally, spiritually and physically coming together and we balance each other out. Sometimes somebody's giving more um, in the way of physical or emotional, spiritual, mental and they're carrying the other's load. That's what we do and you're deserving of that. So whatever it is you're wanting to do because you're also here at the connections in the hangman and you're here in the hangman coming out of this and making changes and trusting yourself and uprighting the sun here and the queen of cups. They're all working together. The moon is going around and crazy with the tide and you're affected Scorpio. The queen of cups is affected here, but it's change is inevitable. It's going to, that's one of the things that it's just going to happen. You know, so lean into that Pluto energy, the regenerative energy for yourself, for this connection, if that's what you're wanting. Lean into Uranus for the change. Don't fight it. Let go. Let God. Trust yourself at what is for you. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Can we have a card for Scorpio? For our Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, interesting, it's the Knight of Wands. That's a really interesting card to come down. So, it yeah, it can be that this is you hoping for this person to be, that this is what they're going to come with here. Be reliable and trusting, and you've been patient and you've been waiting. But it's also coming right below the Sun card, which is what wasn't happening. And it does look a little bit like those horses from, you know, like a carousel, like maybe some games. You know, this is a horse with humility who wants to push through obstacles. They're holding on to the wand. It's the energy of love. It's the idea of love. It's impulsive energy. They're wearing armor, so there's a little conflict. Yeah, so the immaturity does come through strong and possibly some games and what you've been waiting for. And it can also be that, yeah, this might be if you're getting to the root of your issues and saying, okay, I've highlighted, there's the crown chakra, there's the sun, the source. It's highlighted what's what these issues are, getting to the root for me, and I want to upright this queen and, and heal, and I want to go look for this, then maybe that's what's happening for some of you. It is here. It really is dependent on you because this is a person you can count on that wants to do the work as well. And also, by the way, this is for you to count on yourself. You know, trusting yourself here, I gotta say. And whatever work you're feeling like you need to do to whether that's detaching, putting a pin in it, moving on for good, or the two of you coming together. It really is going to be, you know, you both, everybody has free will. So everybody has to be at the table, but knowing your worth and what is for you. I really love this for you, Scorpio. I'm going to get into some Oracle. Let's move the energy around. Then some messages from their higher self, which may or may not be for you. It's not going to be for everybody. And I don't always do them, but I know some some of you really like like them. So, okay, thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What do you want to show us for Scorpio? I feel like that was, yeah, okay, interesting. Are these coming in? No, that's too many. That's too many guys. Um, but I want to show you here. Who? Yeah, look at that. Patience in reverse. It's a nine. It's things coming to fruition. Yeah, I mean, that's fulfillment, attainment, and it's in reverse. You're running out of patience, and we see here in the Two of Wands that you've been really patient, waiting, waitingly, patiently <laughs> waiting here. Also in the Sun card, this is kind of just a temporary energy. So whether that's waiting for this person or you just needing to upright it and go through there for yourself and taking a look at that moon here, Scorpio at what you need to see for yourself. I'm holding on to that red balloon, it's interesting. You know, it is a, and look, this came in reverse. I'm gonna talk about it in a moment. It's another nine, by the way. That red balloon, it's a messenger for me. It's, it's pretty passionate, urgent message. It's connecting to the divine. It's also ascension and rising above, and it's in reverse here. So it can be for some of you that, yeah, this, this, this patience, that this separation is coming to an end of some sort to communicate here. But this can also be you saying, yeah, I'm moving on. It really is just going to be different for everyone. But this is doing that work. 
and being willing to look at the moon and be honest with yourself and honest with each other should that be the case and get to the root of the issues here. I actually really love this a lot. Um, I'm keeping it like this because that's how it's wanting to be and it's connecting with the Queen of Cups which which is a spinner and will upright herself and bring that healing for you. And then this was in reverse. It's release and it's another nine. It's like the lack of attainment and fulfillment. And yeah, so what is this? Root of the issues here. The happy outcome, getting through the obstacles. Is it is it releasing what happened and moving through that together and healing and just having an, a totally new start? Because the hangman is also for me, a paradigm shift. And what does that mean? It means that things have to be different, you know? Or is it for you, you having this paradigm shift and doing things differently for yourself? So are you wanting to release this person? Are you, are you needing to release something that happened that both of you can get to the root of the issues on and build some loyalty and trust again? It's gonna, it just is gonna be different for, for everybody, but Either way, look, leaning in here back into the moon energy, into the divine. Spirit has a plan, divine timing. Trusting that spirit has a plan. All the, the butterflies, the regenerative energy, which also comes through with the tower card, you know. And yeah, again, it can be that this is the moment here that's happening to you. And it's, it's the harbinger of change or it's simply what happened and getting to the root of those issues. You guys, okay, I'm going to bring in some, some channeled love messages. They may or may not resonate. Take what's for you. And if you feel that you're sending them, you're sending them. Messages from their higher self or your higher self as it may be. If you ever feel like they're pertaining to, to self-love, please, by all means. What do you want to say to your Scorpio? I really want you back in my life. Interesting. Interesting. I wish you were mine. Can this also be you? Maybe. I'm building up the strength and courage to contact you. Interesting. I am making a plan to come to you. Wow, you guys. The moment I saw you, I just knew. How did I even exist before you? I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. I'm thinking of you. That's all I do all the time. So whether that's you, this person, or maybe nothing resonates for you. <coughs> for you. Okay, guys. This is being slid around. I need to look at it. Oh, I like that, actually. It's the Nine of Swords, and it's in reverse. So this is healing. This is recovering. That's the Queen of Cups trying to upright herself. Yeah, I got to tell you, um, these are not going to be for everybody today because I feel an energy of some of you wanting to move on. But there is a, this is a soulmate connection, and, and this is a temporary, I feel, separation. Whether you come back together together and you decide to carry on or you just come back and you're able to get to some issues here and heal. Either way, I just feel like there's some resolution coming, you guys. And take these um, for what they are. Messages from their higher self and some which may not be for you, they may be, can also be you sending them. Okay, Scorpio, that is your reading today. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. I wish you love light in all things that you do. Have a really beautiful day. Please don't forget if you enjoyed today's reading to like the reading and subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps Sky so I can continue growing. And have those notifications on so you know when your readings are coming, other readings you might be interested in, message from your person readings, twin flame readings, whatever the case may be. And also when I'm going live, because I will be working, I will be fixing that soon. I just don't have the time right now. But that once I get that fixed, watch out, <laughs> because I'll be going live quite a bit. So you might want to know about that. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'm sending you love and light, and I will see you at another reading. Bye, Scorpio.